Okay, we're visiting today. It's Wednesday, July 23rd with Riverdale head football coach Brett Bonifant. Uh, coach, we wanted to get some thoughts from you today about your outstanding senior, uh, Dante Jackson. Uh, um, what, what, the thing about him is that everything he, he's getting right now, he deserves. I, I was very upset with the lateness, I guess, of everybody coming to see him because I got the job last January in 2013, and the second I saw his highlight film, I was beating the table for him. And the fact that it took an entire year for people to wake up and see really was a, a, a little bit, not hurtful, but just eye-opening for me. But the fact that he's getting all that, inf the, the, the recognition now is everything he deserves. Um, he plays cornerback, running back, receiver, returns, punts and kickoffs. I mean, versatility is, is just off the charts. Mm -hmm. Could you put that in perspective on that? Well, last year he had 500 yards receiving, 500 yards rushing. He played quarterback. He, he never threw the ball, though, because every time we called the pass, he just tucked it down and ran it. But um, he had three kick returns for touchdowns. They didn't punt to him ever, so he never got the chance to return a punt. But just the fact that he can do all those different things, that's less wear and tear on the other players that we have because now we can – if he, if he if we have to put him at receiver, then that other receiver can get a playoff to be to be ready for the the fourth quarter. If we have to put him at running back, that's one less carry my running back has to take and wear it there in his body. So that's kind of a big deal for us. And then dynamic. I mean, he's just the most dynamic player I've been around. I've had some good ones. He had there was one game last year where he had ten touches for two hundred and fifty yards and five touchdowns. So that <laughs> that is just what he can do. And he also had four tackles and a forced fumble that game. So I mean, what he can do is. Is, is, is outstanding. Um, did, do you have a, a thought on what is his best position? He's probably a better corner just because of the totality of what he can do. He can go out there and dominate as, as receiver if he needs to, but his instincts, his, his foot quickness, his hips, just, just he has what a primetime cornerback needs. And then you know, I hate to sound too presumptuous, but he has a chance of making money as a, as a, a return specialist. You know, so DB return special, I think that's his best thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, does, uh, have you ever had a kid more ver as versatile as Dante? Yes. Um, he was, they, you know, Dante is one is the most dynamic, but I have had Ryan St. Julian at, at Catholic New Iberia, played at LSU, okay. who played the same positions Dante did. Uh, when I was at West Jefferson High School, we had Ronald Lewis, who played quarterback, who played receiver, who played running back. Right. Um, Dante Dante just can do everything as a total better than, than, than all of them, but... but they were all very good at what they had to do as well. I mean, Ron was playing as Arizona State right now. Was uh, how much impact did his success uh, running track, and winning, uh, winning at state? Uh, you think uh, have on his football uh, recruiting? Well, it just cemented everything that we said. You know, okay. he ran a four-two-five at Tulane's camp last year, a four-three-nine at Alabama's, a four-three-seven at ULL's. But it's hard for me to talk to a coach and say, "Oh, he ran a four-three. Because, let's, let's face it, today everybody runs a 4-3, at least that's what they say. So the fact that he got out on the field and, and, and ran it at the state championship meet, ran a 10-4 and a 21-4, that just cemented what we've been saying about him for the last year. You know, basically said, okay, well, maybe Coach B knows what he's talking about a little bit when he said a kid can, can run a little bit, you know. How is he away from the field? Well, I mean, what um, kind of kid, that type of stuff? Let me put it to you like this. My son asked me to go see Dante every day. I have a little three-year-old, and he and you know he, he loves him. And I won't let my kid around everybody, so uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good thing. But he's a, he's a great kid, very respectful. Yes, sir. No, sir. Uh, we have a lot of kids like that at Riverdale, and he's he's one of them. So he's he's a great kid.